What's up, Jack? How you doing, buddy? You're right. But usually whenever I'm doing that, I'm making sure that all my programs are set up. I got like I gotta get the music going. I gotta get your music going, which is the Amazon music. I listen to Spotify because Amazon music ain't doing it for me. Uh, gotta get my I gotta post in all the discords that I'm going live. I gotta open up my camera controller. I gotta go inside, refill my water, make sure that the wife isn't needing anything. I gotta go pick up all of the extra little things that I need to grab for the stream. Make sure I know exactly what the hell I'm working on tonight. That's what that's what the that's what the intro is for. So it's to waste time. It's so I can hit go and then and then I can panic and be like, oh shit, what did I forget? Uh, I needed to do this and this and this and this. Let me go do that. Intro intro videos on. <coughs> It, I wasn't lying when I said to waste time. Collect a couple humans. I don't really know what you mean by that. Collect a couple humans. I'm not. I'm not collecting any humans. <clears throat> Oh, actually, yeah, 100%, 100%. Let's, let's people start rolling in. Let's people start rolling in. Yeah. It's like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 100%. That, now I see what you mean by collect a couple humans. I, I, was, I was legit confused for, for a second there. I was like, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what he means. They're called viewers. They're called viewers, Jack. We don't call them humans. We cannot, we cannot recognize that they are people, or else we would be tempted to treat them as such. Yes, yes, tomato. Listen, listen here, spatula. Don't, don't, don't you test me, Phillips head screwdriver. I, I saw that, Jack. What were they saying? I, I want to know what they were saying because I saw that they came in. I saw that Psychosis was warning people about them, and then I had to go and do something, and I came back, and they were gone. Oh, okay. Well, I hope they come in here. It'll be great. Welcome them in. Well, we'll give them wide open arms and big fists in their assholes. So, whatever. I mean, it's cool. Twelve? I thought there were only like two. You put a ten minute follower for half an hour? Nice. Yeah, because they get bored, right? They don't. They get bored whenever they can't do their fun stuff and then they just leave. And so it's like, whatever. They go find somebody else. They can kiss your ass, Jack. Well, I'm glad you took care of it, though. Glad you took care of it. So, so were you... Oh, yeah, because they would have to follow, and then they would have to wait before they could do anything. Yeah. Smart job, Jack. Good job, buddy. Flexing those mod muscles. Flexing those mod muscles. All right. Jack, you want to see this? I guess. Kind of get the. Uh, yes, it's black. It's dyed black.
Try to guess. It's a very, it's a very common and popular. It's 100% maple. Curly maple. <laughs> I don't think it's maple. It is. It's maple. Yeah. Look at that Chatoyance, Jack. So we're going to be pairing this. Does the dye penetrate deep? Uh, yes, it, it, it should penetrate all the way through. You can see there's a little spot right here that didn't get it. Um, but if, whenever it's put into a vacuum, it should be penetrate, it should penetrate all the way through. So, uh, we get to test and see how well it's gonna be with one of these. What do you what do you think, Jack? What do you think? <laughs> Dead tree wizards, yeah, right. When am I? Are you asking when am I gonna do it? When did I make this knife? Oh no 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 no! I did not make this. This is a. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It says on here, it says Zeitler 77. Uh, this is a, this is a, uh, a blank made for the Austrian military. This was gonna be their bayonet uh, that they use for, their, for the Austrian military. God dang it, you stupid camera. Come on, come on. Fancy cameras, come on. You need some brass. So it says Zeitler 77 here. Um, it's really hard to show you. It says Zeitler 77. So this is was for the Austrian military. Um, they were, it was made by Eric Solingen, I think it was the company. And uh, I know Dan, I know Dan. Um, so this was just a model that they made for the Austrian military, and then the military ended up not going with this design. So these are somewhat rare, and uh, were never never uh, actually put into any sort of use at all. So there's like, one of the places that I buy my material from had a crate full of these, or a couple crates full of these, that had just been sitting since the 70s. So, oh, you can read. Well, yeah, well, there you go. So you think I need brass to, to break it up a little bit, huh? Hmm. Huh. Brass or silver? Huh. See, I'm, I'm a little bit worried. So you can see that this guard is welded on. But you can also see that it's a pretty thick... <clears throat> You can't really see. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can't really see it from that angle. It's a pretty thick bead. Yeah, it's a pretty thick bead right there, or, or tack. And yeah, and and I'm I'm a little bit worried about whenever I go to fit this up. Whenever I actually go to fit it up, like, do I just have? Am I just gonna have to carve away some of the wood? Or can I grind that down? And if so, how far can I grind it down? Um, so yeah, that's that's a bit of like a, 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 a uh oh, I wonder what I'm gonna do here. Your opinion is to carve the wood? I mean, the benefit of doing that is that this wood block is plenty long. I mean, it's plenty long. So if I end up screwing up the top of it, I can always chop the top off. 
Yes, I, I know. Well, but also, in theory, Jack, if I if I seed it properly, it shouldn't really matter. It shouldn't really matter. But it leaves me about an eighth of an inch all the way around, which is pretty tight. And here's what I would hate to do. Yes, oh yeah, I'm gonna dowel it. There ain't no doubt about that. I'm gonna dowel it. Um, yeah. Um, actually, I might, I might dowel it and broach it because this brooch that I have from Ed Soul is, is the right, um, it's a little bit skinny, but it's better than it being too fat, right? Grind off the well to make my own thingy. No, the guard? No, no, I'm not going to make my own guard. This is, the guy who's buying this wants it to be, he, he's a big military buff. So he likes the fact that it's, he likes the fact that it's there. So another question, so I could drill my hole for my dowel rod, which I think is like three eighths of an inch, and we can make a dowel for it. And then we'll actually slot and dowel. Uh, or just make the dowel a little bit short, Jack. We could just shorten the dowel. That's not a big deal. Because this is pretty short. This is only like two and a half inches, I think. Two and five eighths, maybe, ish. Well, if we were going to be keeping it authentic, we'd, I don't, I don't even. These never actually had handles on them, so there's no authentic handle for this, Jack. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to try and keep it authentic. But these never ever had handles on them. What's up, Sauce? How you doing, baby? Oh, oh, fair, fair, Jack, fair, yeah. Oi, bum touch here. Are you talking to Jack? So these are this. This is also parkerized as well. You're doing pretty good. What you got there, Gator? Is this your katana? Oh, baby. Here, I'll, I'll pull this up for you guys so you guys can see it. So we look like maple and walnut. And your saya there. Nice. You gotta file these down a little bit closer. File them and sand them down. You don't want those scratch marks in there, Gator. Get rid of those scratch marks on there, buddy. You can, you can do better than that. How did you, how did you, um, how did you band this? Because that looks like a solid, a solid piece all the way around. I like the little, I like the little checkering you did here. Very nice. Good job, Gator. Good job, bud. Create, so you just created a small scale, so. It, secret technique, yeah. <laughs> I like it, Gator. That's pretty sweet, dude. But yeah, you need it. You can, you can, you can sand down, you can sand down those, uh, those pins a little bit more. Are they, those are metal pins though, right? Those are copper pins. They look like copper. Silver wire rings inlaid in the black handle. Jack, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll be happy to get the handle set 
properly. And we can go from there before we start shaping. So here's my dowel rod. This is the dowel rod I got. Where are my calipers? Jack, this is the problem that with measuring tools, is that you always lay them down somewhere, and then they're harder to find later. And they're usually sitting right in front of you. You stole my, you, you got, dang it. Stole my calipers again. Oh, here they are. Sitting somewhere they shouldn't be. Can't lay your eyes down? I understand. Whole thing is wood, it can be broken down into individual pieces by removing the two pins. Oh. So she's a breakdown katana. Breakdown. Go ahead and give it to me. Five sixteenths dowel rod. Five sixteenths dowel. I didn't even have to measure, it said it on the sticker. The sticker was just on the other end. How are my pearly white meat choppers? They're fine. They're, 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 they're my gums are sore because they like, because they're usually use the ultrasonic cleaner and that one's nice. And, but they're like, oh, but the state said that we have to use uh, the old school scraper technique because the uh, ultrasonic one aer aerosolizes stuff. And so now they're sore. It's like an inch thick. Oh, we got a, we got a mod in here somewhere. What's up, Saki? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I got you, Gator. Yeah, so you can so you can you can take it apart and and fix it, really. Smart man, it's smart. Saki, do you see my uh, do you see my chatoyant wood? This camera's actually probably better for it. No, no mods, Fizz, huh? <laughs> uh, dyed black curly maple. It's a little bit overexposed in this camera, but... It's a, it's a nice charcoal gray. Yeah, it's not that blue. That's the exposure. Is it quilted? What's the difference between the quilted and the curly? Is it, is it the way that the grain is? We used a good, all right, yeah, I mean, I had it over there a second ago. It's just, it's kind of, you would think it's not that dark. Let's see here. Switch it over to the vice, Fizz. Oh, I guess I could, uh, I'll let you switch it over to the vice, Fizz. See? Uh, quilted is more like waves, okay. Curly's tiger stripes, I gotcha. I don't know what it is. This camera does not pick up the characteristics as good. God dang it. It just doesn't pick up the characteristics as good, Fizz. It, it's... My lighting is shit? I, there's literally a light directly above it. Quilted clogs your toilet. <laughs> so, Fist, we did uh, last time. Yes, yeah, I was just about to say this. The cameras still have a problem with resetting. The cameras definitely still have a problem with resetting. Better power supplies. Man, that sucks. So, 
this is what we're going to be pairing it with, though. Is one of these. I've got two of these bayonets. All right, thanks, Fist. More power. But yeah, I think we're going to be using the dowel rod method on these. hate to drill into a block of this freaking wood though. God dang it, I hate I hate that feeling. No, I'm not, Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to do that, dude. Don't you have to like, uh, don't you have to like undercut it and everything? You wouldn't do it on the handle? <laughs> have you ever done that? You should not, you shouldn't try. Oh, hold on a second, guys. So let me, let me show you guys something else that we got. First off, we'll show this side first. Well, we got a new cup. The wife, the wife bought me a cup. She had it custom made. You can come over here and look if you want and read. Oh, you don't have shoes on. Who is X8s, X-A-S-T-E? You spelled it, you did it wrong, Jack. It's Texas. Ooh. Ooh. The wife surprised me with this. Yeah, you like that? Ooh, yeah. Does she know she spelled my last name wrong? Your name is spelt wrong. You begrudgingly like it. They like it. Yeah. Oh no, I unboxed those on stream. Oh yeah. Everybody was jealous of the foot mats too. Yeah. So far they are. Love you. It was, Dan, it was. Mm -hmm. Times out negative comment. <laughs> like it. Yeah. She was asking why I wasn't using it and I was like, where's HC Kansas? Get, get out of here. This isn't John's stream. <laughs> this is not John's stream. All right. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this, we're going to we're going to end up cutting our dowel rod, we're going to broach it. Tell the wife we love it. 
Wife goes and looks at stream and reads comments. We're no longer allowed to play with cakes. That's why. That's why she knows that you guys love it. But, the, but these play dates are scheduled. <laughs> Who am I gonna play with? All right. Let's find our sinner. No, I don't have a schedule. Here we go. Yeah, I'm allowed to remove my own thumbprints when that happens too, Fist, from grinding. Hmm. All right, so we need to drill a 5 16 hole. Dang it. Better center punch that hole. Smart man fist, smart man. God dang it. Did you move it, fist? Don't do it, use an auger. So here's the other problem, is where Chicks doesn't have his, his drill press isn't tall enough to actually get the entire block underneath there. I'm assuming you mean three amp, not 30 amp. <laughs> 30 will work. Oh, it'll run both cameras. Does it have a splitter on it then? Because they're like uh, 12 feet apart. I don't. <laughs> this breaker's not even a 30 amp breaker. I'm not going to put it on 30 amp. I'm not going to get a 30 amp power supply. Okay, it's got terminal connection. All right. All right, all right. Actually, let me let me grab it. Let me grab that link. Throw a general, yeah. Well, look, he he even went to he even went to the U.S. Amazon, the proper Amazon. All right, uh, add to cart. All right, there we go. It's in the cart. It's in the cart. What, what, Dan? Jeez. Oh, that's right, this is DC. And we're not running 120 volt out. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm literally standing corrected right now. Listen, I don't have time to think about all of these minute details while I'm also trying to entertain you schmucks, okay?
We have to put a new breaker in. <laughs> I need three phase? Yeah, if I had three phase, I, I would like that also. I would like that. Uh, I would be better off getting a phase converter than, uh, than uh, trying to get to the power company and having them run three phase to the house. Oh. Yay. God dang it, I hate this. Hicks called the power company to see if they'll rent me a dedicated DC line to my house. This isn't Nikolai Tesla. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> oh, Jack, no! It needs 80 amps to run on single phase? But that's single phase 220 though, right? It's not just, that's not 120, because you guys don't have 120. Because we can do more, more, more with less, you know, here in America. Put your brass ring in the middle? That's actually not a terrible idea, Jack. Yeah, 220, 240, same, same thing. <laughs> that 110 high amp burn your house down shit. I'm having to think. I mean, I put down a flat ish, as flat as I got right now. Board. The problem is, I think it's still. I don't think it's. I don't think it's level. But it's not really going to matter that much because we're going to have to do so much shaping on this. All right. Here we go, drilling a hole in this beautiful piece of wood. Raise the work table and almost, yeah, uh, each more throw. What? Wait. Yeah, bit's gonna wander. Yeah, it's gonna wander. No, it's not this. It's fine. What's up, Steady? How you doing, bud? Wolfram? What's up, my man? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do, Jack. Oh, Fist. Who's the knife maker here, Fist? Who's the knife maker here, huh? See, maybe that's still too... Uh... like a toiger. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, Fist. Damn right. Bumping around the shop for an hour or so? Nothing wrong with that. So we're about, actually, 
actually, we probably need to go a little bit deeper. Safety? Safety what? There's nothing dangerous about this, guys. What are you talking about? Wolfram, do you see this, uh, see this block of wood we got? See that chatoyance? Yeah, baby. All right, so that's the dowel. Dowel fits in there nice and tight. Where'd I get that? Instagram, buddy. Instagram. I got, I got people on Instagram. I mean, I'm not getting deals or anything. I'm paying full price here. I got people, though. Now, force it something so it... Oh, yeah. Force it so something cracks, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let me blow this out with a compressor. Blank space? Is that a, is that an Instagram uh, account that sells uh, sells sexy wood? Cause you know I'm always interested in sexy wood, Wolfram. I got this from uh, Fleming Wood Supply. Blank space, huh? All right, let me. I got, I got, I got. I, I love looking at. I love looking at wood on the Instas. Oh yeah, following. Oh gosh, she's got twenty-eight thousand followers. Jesus Christ. This is from a guy named uh, Fleming Wood Supply. He's not as well known. He has some great stuff. And uh, it's not like sold out instantly. That's the thing. Swamp Wood? Swamp Wood. Do they do bog oak? Is what that sounds like. Swamp Wood products? Nice. Nice. I, lo I love it all. I love it all. All right, so we need to see how deep this is. She's deep. D double E P. She's about two and an eighth inch deep. And our... No, we actually need to go deeper still on that. Probably another inch deeper. Let's go back to the drill press. So I'm gonna have to loosen, drop a bit down a smidge. No. See, uh, you like that little context clue I shot you there, uh, Fisty, huh? <laughs> you don't need to drop hints. I designed the system. Well, I mean, but yeah, it was it, maybe I was practicing for my other mods. Yeah. 
All right, so now I'm three and five, 128 deep. Oh yeah, that's plenty. It's plenty good, plenty good. All right, so let's mark that. <clears throat> Bits for shocks. Good God. <laughs> I will be mad if this doesn't happen. God dang it. You guys. You guys just, uh... You guys just want to see me in pain? Is that all this is? The preset that just looks at the tricycle. I think there's still room in the presets, yeah. Actually, what I should do, Dan, is I should hide the tricycle in different spots, and you guys have to find the tricycle during the stream, and then you get bonus points for that. Oh, yeah, there you go, Fist. Yeah, oh, I like that. I like that. All right. Here, right, I got a good, I got a good blade on the uh, on the scroll saw. Wink, wink. <coughs> scroll, uh, uh, scroll saw. Uh. See, see what I did there. Oh, on the buffer? Yeah, that wouldn't be good. This, I'm gonna move the drill press, but luckily it's mobile and I can put it back. piece of wood like that cost you? I think that was $30 ship, Steady. $30. Don't think we have the buffer added to the list? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. It's, uh... What's up, uh... Miss Massacat? Uh, do we not? Oh, it's... Does the filing vice get it? Oh, you didn't put the buffer on there, Fist. Shame on you. Miss Massacat, how you doing? We just cut. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that that one would get close enough, Fist. That's that's right, Jack. I do. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're uh, we're playing with some wood. We're playing with playing with wood, chatoyant sh wood. Ooh. And we already drilled a big old hole in it. All right, hey, no sweat. I appreciate that follow. All right. That hole is off center? A little bit, a little bit. Luckily, this whole thing is going to have to be shaped, crazy shaped. Brad point drill bits? I am not. I'm not, because usually I drill more metal than I do wood. Well, I mean, I usually drill more metal than wood. What's up, Rain Silent? Oh, we play with fire too, Rain. We play with fire too. You're welcome, Jack. <laughs> uh, all right. So we need to go over to the grinder. We need to open this hole up a little bit.
I'm actually going to be working on the top of the grinder here because I need to use this slack belt portion. <clears throat> yeah, I do usually use scales and uh, there's a little bit of cutting involved. So, and I did do some forging the other day. We made some okume. That is true. That is true, Jack. starting this one over. I think I'm going to have to use this on the, uh, I'm going to cut my hole on the bandsaw, or my, uh, I'm going to split it on the bandsaw. What's up, Ube? If the table and pants weren't in the way, you could see my dinger. Mostly the pants, right? Oh, do, is RTX not enabled right now? Is it? Was that too loud? I had it turned off, so yeah. So I have that noise suppression about 70% there, Fizz. Yeah, some, some people like to hear the tools just a little bit, though. So what is the, can you still hear this? I'm assuming you guys can still hear that. So that was actually cranked all the way up. So that was with the RTX noise suppression cranked all the way up. But I'm pretty sure that my uh, audio filters and compressors and stuff like that, I have tweaked them a little bit. That was an acceptable volume? Okay. If you guys don't have a problem with that, I'll keep that, I'll keep that up. It's really just for like loud, loud stuff. Do 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 do. Let that little piece go. There you go. You bet OBS isn't using RTX again? Uh, let me see here. Properties. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, there you go. All right, so now let's test it. Now let's test it. Turn it back down to about 65%. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. So let me, crank, let me turn on the, on the grinder. Perfect. All right. Hey, 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 can you can you still hear me talk? Can you still hear me when I'm talking right now? You can't hear it at all, or can you can you only hear it when I'm talking? Hear the fiddle. I feel like I'm clipping also a little bit. You got that perfect Kermit the Frog voice. I'll turn it down a little bit. Is that better for you, Alex? Uh, Kermit the Frog here. Yeah, all right, good, good, good. What the hell is that? Higher ink Kim? Higher ink. Higher. Hi. Here in Kim. One, two, three. What's up?
So this, we could use a, I guess if we have slots still open, we could do the fan style. Slash belt holder, whenever the forge isn't holding on the belt. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I'll manually do the I'll manually do the bandsaw. We just want to own all the tools. You too can have your own tools. Jack. We'll add some more presets once you clean up that shithole and get good thumbnail pics. All right, so you got plenty of time, man. You got plenty of time. Is there an earthquake? No, it's the wind. It's uh, <laughs> the wind for my fan hitting the camera. How you doing, LaRue? Stop moving tools around the workshop. They all have mobile tools. This is freaking mobile tools. See? You go to drill press, and it's gonna, still going to point at the drill press. You're not dead? Where you been, LaRue? Where you been, buddy? How's how's life treating you? Three. You guess you're doing okay? That's good to know. All right, we're gonna jump back over here to the grind. <laughs> You're down this rabbit hole called Second Baby. Yeah, you are, dude. Yeah, you are. I think I should turn my saw blade into a Death Star sculpture. You talking about this one that's down here on the ground? I'm sure not going to lick it. You didn't see the guy's house who I bought that from. I'm not licking it. <laughs> and mostly Death is still slightly alive. <laughs> Yeah, dang, this is like a super thick. We're not going to have very much. Um... We're not going to have very much on the edge of this at all. I almost wish I had a little bit bigger dowel rod. But I, uh, alas, I do not. <laughs> oh, Ube. Poor LaRue. Poor LaRue.
broke that one too. Hmm. Um, maybe we should concentrate on. You know what? We don't even need the Dow rods because we're going to be broaching it. God dang it. We don't even need Dow rods because we're because we're broaching. That makes me feel stupid, but that's okay. Because we're going to have a slot running this way in it. It's not even going to matter if it's It's not even going to matter if it's got uh Dow rod on either side of it. Pro sanding confirmed. So the issue is, so maybe this brooch is correct on the width, but it's uh, but it's too deep. I might have to grind this brooch down. So as you guys can see, let me show you guys what I'm what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah, it would be really nice if the, with the scene changes when that happens, Fist. That's going to be really helpful. So this, the, the thickness is not an issue. The, the tang is definitely thicker than my brooch. So it's no problem in there left to right. The problem is actually getting these, the brooch itself down inside. This is where it would be really nice to have a mill where I could just drop it in there and just do like a cross slide vise where I could just slide that in and we can actually mill some pieces out. Where's my mill? I need a mill. A milly. A milly. Get with the making of one? Yeah, right. I don't need a press either. I sure don't need a press. What's up, Daniel Brown? How you doing, buddy? Car jacket, some square tube. Daniel Brown's going to be the guy to talk to about making a press, because it ain't me. Daniel actually makes stuff like that. I, however, do not. 25, 128s. <clears throat> you sent a curly maple sample pick? Damn, you jumped straight up on that, didn't you? Very nice, Saki. Very nice, buddy. If you guys don't know, uh, let me. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show everybody this if it's cool, Saki. So Saki, Saki makes. Um, Saki there actually does make handle material, and he and I were chatting yesterday and talking about how, um, you know, if if somebody's special ordering a, a set of knife scales. There's a lot of just like over, kind of like over and over again, you have to go back and forth with people about, oh, here's what's available. Here's what colors that it can do. Here's kind of what it looks like, blah, 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 blah. 
And so I told Saki, I was like, man, if you got some scrap, you should totally just mock up like a board that shows everything that you've got and, and, and what it can look like, not necessarily everything that it's going to look like because it's wood and it has natural features that are not necessarily repeatable all the time. So here he worked up some curly maple setup. So this is what a bunch of different curly, this, this wood that we're working with today is maple, quilted maple, where he's got curly maple. You could see the waves in it. And so this was just kind of showing off some of the different colors that can be done with curly maple. Maple takes stain really well, or dye really well. There's that one, there's that one as well. That electric blue is pretty sweet. And that purple, that purple is pretty swanky as well. And then you could, of course, you can mix colors around too. So, guys, confuse or scare you? Why? Why is it? Why is it? Why does it confuse you? You know this. I think we should move this camera. Um. Yeah, this one. Maybe up over here. Two ones. What? Ah, uh, no. This was just. This was just yammering about me making a press. <laughs> Does it look like wood? Don't trust it. All right. So I need to figure out a way to cut a rectangular slot in this. Put every camera on the screen all at once. <laughs> so I can look like I'm talking to myself, but two cameras just facing each other. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. And I'll, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know you did. Got a little. Keyhole saw. It's like a sheetrock saw, though. It'll at least get the tip in there, but that just feels like it's just gonna rip and tear. Maybe I should have drilled two holes to finish it off with a small file. Eh. 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 Let me see it. Wonder if I've got one of these that's small enough. Hello. So we can use it totally improperly. Just the chip. So I do have All right, thanks for being here, Fist. I appreciate it, buddy. So I do have some of these, uh, which you guys can't even really see. Whoa, wrong one. What's the thing next to the pencil? This is a brooch, but it's too big. It's too big to fit in here. This is actually the exact size that I need. Pretty much the exact size that I need to make it. This would be my finished depth, if you will. My urethra scraper, yeah. 
<laughs> so this is a little fluted uh I guess it's I guess it's carbide, I'm not sure. Say it is, and we don't know any better. <laughs> yeah. That's what I, that's my urethra scraper. It's my urethra scraper. Wow. Fist, I was gonna I was gonna go to the to the vice over here. And show you guys this. There you go. God dang it. If only knew someone who could remove material from that. Exactly, right? What's up, Dirty Smith? How you doing? Give you a sore throat? Ugh, ugh, ugh. So this looks like a six fluted. What's up, monkey man? How you doing? Get that PSU ordered. <laughs> you like to pick, hey, you know what we're working on right now, Des? We're working on it right now, baby. All right, here you go, Fist. Fist got it, Fist got it. So this is like a five flute carbide bit. Um, and it's almost the right width. And it's almost the right width. Yeah, Des, all my other stuff, I'm waiting on material to come in. So I'm like, well, guess I'm working on Des's snack tonight. What's up, John? What's up, John? So, Alex, what do you think about this? What do you think about using, or, or, or Daniel Brown, since you guys are the, the more the heavy machinery kind of guys, what do you guys think about that? Can I chalk that up? In my drill press? Is that, is that, am, am I asking for trouble if I do that? Hmm. To what? So, Daniel, what we have is we have a block of wood with a hole in it, but it needs to be a slot now. So the hole is fine, but we need to come up, up this way and down this way a little bit, okay? And what I'm thinking is I've got this little six-fluted bit, which I don't know the proper name for it. It's some kind of carbide bit, I think. Can I chalk that up in the drill drill press? Just and, and chalk the wood up in the drill press vise. I have not, Monkey Man. I have not. A squibbler. Oh, thanks, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Let me clean this off a little. It's kind of pissed me off. But it's not good. Called clean that damn rust off things. It came this way, all right. Drill presses do not like me doing X Y. No, I know that they don't like it, which is why I won't do it very much. You can try it, all right. Well, you can try it. You think it's going to be tough with stabilized maple? Well, obviously, I'm not going to plunge it all the way in. You know, I could drill, I could drill some small pilot holes. Yeah, I'll definitely need to chuck it in pretty deep. I could drill some small pilot holes. Yeah, two small pilot holes either side. See, 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 fist. I'm, I'm a. Did you say you baby?
Usually telling me to go deeper doesn't work that well. Use that chisel set you got from Hulu. What are you talking about? You know, Dez, I mean... So Dez, oh Dez, I'm glad that you're here, Dez. We had actually talked about, do we want to put any kind of spacer material up top? Also, to break up the black a little bit, or do you want it murdered out? Just murdered out black. Hi, sauce. <laughs> It is a tough decision. It is. It is very tough. Very tough. Dang it, it moved. Oh, this one's for South Sea. All right, so that's what we need to get. That's what we need to cut out is that section right there. So that being said, let's get some pilot holes. 560 fourths, how are you going to do? Yeah, I could probably get two 560 fourths in there on each side. That sounds good to me. Murder black all the way, stealth knife, let's do it. Murder black all the way, baby. No music? There should be music. Ah, I never re-hit play. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that, buddy. When in doubt, murder out. A wise man once told me that.
<laughs> Next question, sir. Do you want to have the knife in your possession to make the sheet? We could have the... That's probably would be the best idea, Des. I think that that's what we would do. That's probably smarter. Is that a new John emote right there? It sure is. Oi! Nice emote there, John. Nice, nice. Alright. Uh, okay. So, we need to put this other drill bit on here. Don't confuse me for smart. Well, I'll make the decision for you. If you want him to make the if you want him to make the sheep, I think that's the best idea is just getting the ship and straight to him. That's as far up as it chucks. It up chucked in there. So here we go. Let's finish out. Give me a stable platform to work on. Redraw my lines just so I can definitely see them. What's up, Frogger Man? Should I be going at a higher RPM? Is the slot going to be at least a quarter inch wide? No. It's going to be... Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me double check. What are we making? We're actually making a knife handle right now. So... This is going to be 37 sixty fourths. So... Almost six millimeters. Six millimeters running this way. This way it's about three sixteenths. Three sixteenths. But uh, the problem is I don't have a mill. Do you do I need to run a mill on a high speed? A higher speed, uh, higher RPM. Uh, that, that question is more for Alex or, uh, or Daniel Brown. Just go slow. Okay. Over nine thousand. I think I'd be better pushing. I can see better. Yeah.
Yeah, that's not really doing much of anything at all. But yeah, I know. I need a chisel set, but I don't have a chisel set up. Where do I have the skill set that it takes to use a chisel effectively? <laughs> That's the other big problem, is I don't have the skill set to use chisels, even if I did have them. You'd be surprised, Alex. Let me see what I got. what I'm trying to say is I don't have chisels it is a hard skill to master you <laughs> jigsaw blade and vice grips God, I don't even have a jigsaw blade man I don't have a jigsaw I mean I can start yeah I don't have jigsaw blades I've got a sawzall, but that doesn't really do us much good. Let me see what I can. You think this is some sort of extra woodworking shop? <laughs> You have the answer. Rectangle bits. Boom. Well, aren't those mortis mortising bits? They make mortising bits, Dirty Smith, and they do make rectangles. I have this little guy. Can I think in my word? Man, this is gonna be uh, this would be pretty damn tedious, right? Watch the joke slowly die. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I can't get too big because then you get outside of the width of the guard. Um, dude. Can't get too big because then you get outside the width of the guard. See, but, but Saki, I actually it was going completely against the dowel method because once I have the slot, I don't need the dowel anymore. I can fit this in here, though. Dental tools. They don't really have saw blade parts on them, though. Eh. Eh. I'm Dirty Smith. Eh. Eh. Don't blood myself? Eh. It'll take you like five hours, yeah. Oh, so you're talking about a dribble, but I, but but I also need to go like three inches deep into this block of wood, man. That's the thing. Well, but I have to get it at least close to the size before I can even do a burn in, Jack. That's the thing. 
I'm not just making up excuses here. Trust me, I already thought about the burner. But I'm not even close to burner size. Um, oh, replying to this. That's that's a really weird little uh, feature there. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how this works. I'll switch the camera here in just a second. Golf ball hit. <laughs> Make a tiny chisel on your grinder. I have a regular size chisel that I could cut down. Tiny chisel to chisel the tiny wood, yes. Put a handle on that. I mean, really, literally all I have is going to be a, a pair, set of ice grips. See your post at Discord. Dick Sword. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't have one of those either. <laughs> I have some ice grips, though. Yeah, it's a deep hole. That's the thing. Order a tiny four fluted middle of Amazon and wait for it to arrive. And we'll just sit here and stream nothing until that happens. Ah. Vice grips are handy. Yes, indeed. Get my diddle tool out. You like that recip size, WK? That's right, babe. We are, we are de the definition of roughing in a hand or anything. Cheating! It's cheating, Saki! <laughs> yeah, but you lose. We, we talked about that too, Dirty. Jack mentioned that. He said, cut it in half, we'll drill all the way through it, and then we can do a spacer 
to, to, and then we glue it back together. So, so cheating. We want we want this thing to be burned out by hand. I don't I don't want to do that. God dang! How are you supposed to get? Let me see what I do. Have. Material removal special. So I have this weird, never seen this kind of chisel before. Is this like a graver? More of a graver? It's definitely wider at the tip than it is down here. And I could thin that out if I needed to. It definitely needs to be sharpened. How thick is the blank? This, oh, the blank itself? I mean, technically, I could thin the blank out, but I don't really want to do that either. That would obviously be faster. Uh, I think it's uh, 3 sixteenths. What, what kind of chisel is this? No idea. Uh, it says SK Tools USA 6, 7, something, something, quarter inch. Wear safety glasses. Found <laughs> it in the hole. Well, I'm thinking I could actually use this if I thin it out. It's a little wide at the at the top. You could grind it in under a minute. Grind out and heat treat a faux mortise chisel. What does a mortise chisel look, look like? You guys are using all sorts of fancy words. No, it's not long enough, but it, it would get me close enough to do a burden, though. This looks like a V. Oh, okay, from the side profile. So it's made for you stick this on the corner, and that's the that's the the profile that it cuts. Yeah, ninety degree. Okay. Hmm. Could I grind this chisel into a mortise chisel? Maybe. Maybe. Or should I try and should I try and thin this out, and then we can go straight in with it? If I thin this out, I think I might be able to go straight in with it. So much material. It gets us close, Jack. It gets us close, buddy. So the corner contacts first? Okay. I see what you, I think I know what you mean.
<laughs> PM, do you... Uh, all right, let me look at that real quick. Pictures on page two are key. This is a, a mortise chisel? That doesn't, that's not a V. I mean, I guess if you look at it from the side profile, it's a v. So that's essentially what I just made. It's essentially what I just made, Jack. That is like exactly what I just made. And we're about to sharpen her up too. Yeah, make it super fast. Well, I just friggin' did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're going to call it a, some sort of fancy chisel, it's just, it's a wedge. I guess most chisels are wedges, though. So, ignore my previous comment. But your picture definitely says that I need to have a, uh, yeah, I just did, Saki. Hey, I just did that, buddy. Um, I should have a secondary bevel up at the, up at the front. Which is just beef here because they're meant to chop out a square hole. Oh, yeah. Well, Jack, by your logic, it's true because it's what, a, a wedge is a, one of the six simple machines. I think that's why this isn't going as fast. I started on the super fine spin. It's like, man, this does not feel like it's removing any material. <laughs> oh, I'm a creep. Some kind of chisel. Now it's some other kind of chisel, Jack. Just smaller.
cuter. It's cuter for Jack. Uh, no, it definitely is not an air chisel because it has a, uh, a smashed ass end on it. It's hex shaped and it has a smashed ass on it. Like somebody had been wanging on it with a hammer, you know. Uh, oh, 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 of course it is. <laughs> of course it's ingrained. Put these diamond stones to work, boys. Yeah, maybe somebody did use it wrong. I don't know. It's made. It was made by what did I say? SK Tools USA. SK Tools. F stream. I should still be here. Des, every night's a lot of work, buddy. It's all about learning, baby. You know thing. All all hidden tanks are more work for me it, it, anyway, because it's just something different than I used to do. I mean, otherwise we would have. Uh, I would have bought scales, right? You bought your id mills because of hidden tanks? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did the stream die for everybody else? Or just, uh, just Alex there? You didn't die? Okay. The Haxers got him. <laughs> or Twitch via Twitchy again. Yeah, that's always a possibility.
check something real quick. Make sure we're not too wide. No, we're not too wide. That's good. How thick is the tang? That's exactly what I was just checking. So tang is 3 sixteenths, and my chisel is... Uh, 21 one six one twenty eights. Twenty one one twenty eights. This much and this much. There you go. A cake chisel designed for cutting grooves, keyways, and slots in a variety of metals. Well, there you go. Alex, Alex got the answer. Is there room to get a 3 16 hole started in there? Negative. We're, we're, we're past that part. I'll show you what we're working with right now. It may look like we're getting rectangular, and we kind of are, but that's very much only on the surface. Feels like you're winning today. Stole my wood supplier and he followed you back on Instagram. Was that a, you, you hit up on a Fleming wood supply, dude? Yeah. Well, for my guarantee, he saw your Instagram and went, yep, this dude. SK tools, 516 cape chisel. Yeah, this is a quarter inch cape chisel then. Yep. There you go, Alex. There you go. It used to be a quarter inch cape chisel, and it's no longer. We done changed it. He's got some good looking stuff, and he's got decent prices, Wolfram. And uh, his his quality has been pretty damn good. But this is probably my fifth set of scales from him. But yeah, well, for me, I guarantee he looked at your Instagram and said, "Yep, this dude's gonna buy." <laughs> he's got he's got pretty dang reasonable prices. He really does. Uh, he doesn't do a bunch of the hybrid stuff. I've noticed his is pretty much all just just wood. But damn it, he's got some really good stuff, and his stuff doesn't sell out insanely fast. Just because he's not a massive, massively known on Instagram, I feel. Uh, it definitely was not a rounded tip, Alex. You just got to do one, one by uh, one and a half by one and a half blacks. Uh, are you doing this curly maple as well? No, it definitely wasn't round, Alex. Definitely was not round.
a nice little burger going here as well. I think this thing is about ready to buff. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, we'll find out, Jack. Luckily, the, the, the good thing we have going for us right now is that if we screw up even the first, oh, three quarters of an inch probably, I think we've got enough material to save it, but I don't think that that's gonna be an issue. All right. Little hammer. Yep, 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 exactly, Alex. I mean, immediately after I started using the hammer, I said, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna push this. See how she does. And she's doing really nice, actually. I almost wish the body of the, the chisel, like back here, was skinnier. So I could get in a little bit further. It works pretty well. If <laughs> skinny, then drift equal true. Gotcha. If it really doesn't want to go, don't force it. It's 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 not the fact. It's not the linear movement here. It's I'm getting pinned in uh, widthwise a little bit. Getting I'm getting a little bit pinned in widthwise, and I can't even clean out widthwise because of the shape of the chisel itself. Because it gets, it's such a wedge. You know, it's a cake chisel and all. 
since we know what that is. Where there is. Or even if it was if it was skinnier this way as well, would be nice. Still tell Edna. <laughs> yeah, you're saying use it down like this instead of instead of flat chiseling like this to use it down. I assume. Oh. Wolf, Wolfram, are you still here, Wolfram? Because we got another guy who's in the community who also does scales. I can't believe I even forgot to plug something. Oh, she yells no cakes. You're old. Black cat. Yeah, at the intersection where that angle changes, I got you. Yeah, come Pitch with What's up, big guy C? Did you sharpen up that uh, that uh, string ring, somebody? Sharpen that up? I'm gonna I'm gonna hound you about it now that I know you've thought about it. Oh. Whack the side of the wood with the mouth? But how about I do this instead? Man, you know we we love pulling on wood, okay. Yeah, I come back, and that looks not great. It's going actually pretty well, Jack. Thank you. Big guy, we even we had to bake our own chill. Or well, we modif we modified it too. I wish I could knock some of this crap loose in here. That's exactly what I was saying, Jack. I was like, man, I wish this chisel was a little bit thinner. And then Alex did bring up that you run into a drifting problem potentially. But I don't know how much of a drift problem I would have since. Uh, it's so it's so tight in there anyway. Yeah. 
You know, I've got a piece of, I've got some scrap steel here. I totally could make another chisel real quick. Uh, well, we're working on this block of wood right here, big guy. Um, and we're doing a hidden tang knife. And so we're having to kind of slot through what we're doing. And uh, she's toy. She's toy like a toy here. I was thinking I could make a long chisel, Jack. A long, thin, like an eighth inch wide chisel. Eighth inch steel, like sitting here in front of me. It would probably work. I can even harden it real quick, spit on it, and jam it in there. My, my problem now that I'm running into, or I could thin this chisel out more. That's the other option. Stay in your lane, knife maker. Are we still talking about knives? We, if you want us to, big guy. If you don't, then we, I mean, we can do something else. All right, no sweat, big guy. <laughs> no refund uh, or taper the tang. So we'd like to not modify the tang or the blank if, if it all fucks. That's kind of like my, my motivating thing I got going on right now. Dang. Because machines exist. <laughs> Fair point, Jack. Fair point. 